what we're doing. Oh, look at this little baby. I bought myself on Amazon a sprayer, which I'm super excited about. I wanted to buy a tent too. However, um, they were the, the, the cheapest one was like $50, and it kind of looked like it was a hassle to put together and put away. So I wanted to make a spray paint tent. I wanted to have three walls and I want it to fold together and I can just like put it against the wall so I can easily get it out of the way. So I bought a whole bunch of PVC piping, a pack of these T, these 90 degree angle ones, just clear plastic sheets. So I'm just gonna, oh, and, and duct tape, but I already had this, so that was free. In the end, the total cost for everything was $28. Because there's going to be three walls and that I want the two outside walls to come in, you can't use a joint because these joints can't turn. I think I'm just going to have just completely separate faint frames, get zip ties and put them together and see how that works. So I decided I want it to be around six feet tall. I also happen to have this saw, so I'm just going to use this to cut it. This is the leftovers from each stick, from each pipe. So I'm just going to let this be the width of each side. Unless I change my mind later. So I forgot to buy the zip ties and I didn't buy enough PVC piping so I went back to Home Depot to buy that stuff. Back from Home Depot, got three more of these. Oh baby, don't be scared. Lola's well, scared of the poles. So crazy. Lola, it's okay. Take a look, turn. See if they're okay. See if they're okay. They're not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna cut some PVC pipe. Watch out, we're about to move it. So that is going to be the back wall frame and then we're going to make two other frames for the sides. So I decided that I don't want the sides to be as wide as the back wall so I'm going to just cut these in half to make each side of the wall. Done with one of the sides. Here are the three frames. I have just enough extra piping to fit a bar across the middle. It's a bit wobbly. It's not that sturdy, it kind of turns a lot. So I think I'm gonna add this bar in the middle. So I'm gonna cut all of these in half and then add this joint. Add this, <laughs> add this joint in the middle. Okay. So let's get back to song again. There we go. Now we have all the the frames officially set up. So now we're just going to tape the tarp to it. So this plastic is super cheap, so I'm just going to wrap two layers. Yeah, I'm going to wrap two layers. Okay, so this side doesn't necessarily need tape because this part was just wrapped around. But I'm gonna still put tape for, cause I'm gonna put a hole. I'm using a zip tie as like the hinges for the ability for these to open and close. So I'll put the hole through the tape so it doesn't rip the plastic.
the back wall is all taped up or tarped up. So now we're gonna do the side panels. They are all taped up with the plastic wrap on. So now we're gonna put zip ties in the joints so it can turn in and out. Okay, so I put a hole right here and I put duct tape there just so like if I just put a hole right here, I'm afraid that the having the zip tie in there will rip. So if I put a hole in the duct tape, at least the duct tape will keep the hole from ripping more. Okay, now we're gonna do that same thing to the other side. Yeah, and I'm done. And my camera is almost about to die. Here is the finished project. And yeah, here's me actually using the tent. This is actually footage of my next project I'm posting um, where I actually got to use my new tent. And this tent was super helpful for this project. Um, I just lay down a tarp, put the tent on top, spray paint whatever I need to paint. And then once I'm done, I just fold the tent back up, put it against the wall, it's out of the way. I can park my car, work on other projects, whatever I want. Um, yeah, I'm super happy with it overall. If you do make a spray paint tent, I hope this helped. Um, this design has worked great for me so far. Um, but yeah, if you did like this video, like and subscribe, and see you next time.